You made it ours when you brought us here. Hi there, and welcome back to Injustice Gods Among Us. We're in the next mirror fight, and it's against Batman. Get down. Now, Batman here doesn't think we have what it takes to beat Superman as is at the moment. So his idea was to teleport all the duplicates back to their home world in hopes that they can prep to fight against Superman when he eventually evades. Of course, our super, our Batman, isn't having any of that and is going to beat the sense in here that, yes, we can handle Superman as is. Plus, many more lives would be lost anyway if uh, One Earth Batman sent their uh, duplicates back to their homeworld anyway. Now this is a fairly even match. Both characters are really, really quick. And what makes this fight all the harder is that unlike most of the heroes where you can actually see a clear, clear difference between who was who, this one is a little bit harder. And it's mostly due to the fact that they're both practically the same color. Yes, our Batman has more armor on him and looks cooler, but they're both basically palette swaps. Oh. Oh you shoot. Made it ours when you brought us here. Uh. So let's try this again. Maybe we'll do better. And yeah, I figured out how to work those bats. Um, once you have them charged up from that little charge icon, you press A to bring them out, and then you press A again to launch them at your enemy. It looks like we can equip up to three bats at once, but right now we only have one available, and there we go, two. So that's pretty cool. Of course, if you get hit while they're out, you're gonna lose them, but it doesn't waste them. Or actually, maybe it does because the other Batman used it. Again, it's hard to tell who's fighting who in this thing. Uh. And these fights are a whole lot more difficult when you when you're not trying to use a uh, super move. Had enough. No, I don't think we did, One Earth Batman. I don't think we did. You know, one of the things that is kind of interesting is um well most of the other arrows turn evil due to having to toe the line. That's at least a difference. For some reason, One Earth Batman stays pretty much the same as regular Batman, except just a tiny bit more cynical. <laughs> good. You expected otherwise. Maybe Batman is like the one constant in all the universes where he's the same kind of guy. If we're done here. We're losing time. Yeah, I guess we are. This is a mistake. You brought us here because you had faith. Faith, we'd uphold the values you've given everything to defend. So trust us. Trust yourself. And let's end this. You have no idea how to use it, do you? I was hoping you wouldn't figure that out. We need to get started. Innocent people are dying. We'll take the others, so you can focus on their Superman. We'll do it together. It'll prevent more casualties. Then Superman. Doomsday's gonna be tricky. Collateral damage. I'll have to force that fight elsewhere. 
Anything else? I realize this isn't entirely accurate, but it's good to have you back. Doc exists here. I suggest you go home. So here we are at our next mini game. This one is pretty simple. As you can see, each car that comes at us has a uh, button prompt. All you gotta do is hit the button and blow up that car. That's it. You're weak, you know. Your world suffers more. I really don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, regular, um, the regular dimension kind of suffers due to a lot of it, due to a lot of bad guys being all over the place. But this world, or at least Earth One, seems to be in a little tougher predicament. What with it being ruled by uh, Mad, well, Superman gone mad, and actually mostly villains. Considering outside of a couple occasions, uh, the Black Adam is a straight up bad guy. Along with uh, Snishro, Solomon Grundy who... I guess is less of a villain and more of a... I don't know, I mean, he's usually portrayed as a bad guy I guess. Superman modeled his governments after mine. We allow no insurrection! All right, so we're at our next fight with the Black Adam, but now we're Superman. Now here's a thing, uh, one of the few things I do remember about Superman was um, outside of Kryptonite, he actually does have one other weakness. Now it's not as major as Kryptonite, but it can still do a lot of damage. And that would be, well, magic. He's somewhat weak to magic. So yeah, bullets can fly at him and bounce right off him, but things like lightning bolts and such can cause some damage. He's still kind of tough, but not as. Well, actually, no. It took it like a few rounds to actually defeat this guy. So never mind. Yeah, I do notice that that canister, is, uh, that that truck says Ace Chemical on it. Shazam! And Ace Chemical being the thing that created the Joker. Who would have been, was it, Red Hood at that time, depending on which origin story of his you believed? Your evil must end. <sighs> That'll hold you long enough. <sighs> So super, was he? Here's your chance to do what's right. I would take it.
Superman? To take on the might of Atlantis? Yes, we are. Well, neither are you, evil Aquaman. So, join us next time as we take on evil Aquaman. I'll see you there. <laughs>